Hello, my name is Bruce Christman. I started at the laboratory in 1970 and retired in uh, 2013 as the chief operating officer. I wanted to tell a story today about the daycare center. Fermilab was the first DOE laboratory to have an on-site daycare center. At that time, there was a agitation on the part of the staff and the users that they needed something for handling daycare not only for the families, but for many of the working mothers that were on site. And so we looked into how do we go about doing this? Would the government pay for it? We couldn't find any way that the government was going to be able to pay for this ourselves. And that was our legal staff, uh, myself, other staff at the laboratory were searching for ways, trying to think of ways we could justify it to the Department of Energy. At that time, we couldn't think of anything. So we went to the local site office and told them what we wanted to do. And Leon was 100% behind this. And the DOE, the local site office, thought it was a really good idea as well. And they took it upon themselves to do some research to figure out how to do it. And Jim Miller, who was the assistant manager of the site office at the time, spent many hours reviewing documents and looking, searching, and this was before the internet, so searching was a little different than it is today. And he found a general accounting office, today it's known as the Government Accountability Office, the GAO, that said it was okay, in fact, it was done in Washington, for the government to provide the facilities, that is the space and the uh, utilities as long as the parents uh, of the children using the daycare center paid all the expenses, that is the salaries and the uh, other equipment, disposable equipment items that uh, were used. And with that finding, the daycare center was promptly launched and many other DOE laboratories since then, in fact, most to my knowledge, have instituted on-site daycare. So we were a leader in this uh, effort of providing an employee benefit.